There are hundreds of people gathered here in Wakefield Park just behind me. This is the town park here in Morency. They just finished singing Silent Night. They are here because the three boys loved this park. This is where they came to play. This is also where they came to light up the place during the holidays. The pastor is hoping that lighting enough light here will help bring these missing boys home. Morency is lighting up the town tonight. These holiday lights, a beacon for Tanner, Alexander, and Andrew, who have been missing for 10 days. Everybody just wants them to have a light to shine their way home. You know, if, if there are enough lights, maybe they'll see it and they'll, be, wherever they are, they'll be able to find their way home. We're trying to get the, uh, the, to light the park up so the kids will hopefully um, see the light to, to find their way home. We want to not only light the, the church, the park, we want everybody in town to turn their lights on, not just the Christmas lights, the porch lights, all the lights in their houses, just uh, to light up the town for the kids. Morency still believes the boys are alive. I just want them to know that, you know, there's an entire, an entire town, an entire country that, you know, we're all praying for them and we all just want them to come home. And as far as, you know, their family, is, it's more than just their own family. It's the whole, the whole community just wants them back. But if the brothers are somewhere out there, it's a secret locked up with their father who is sitting in the Lucas County Jail in Ohio. John Skelton, who last had the boys on Thanksgiving night, got a special jailhouse visit from family and clergy this weekend, according to published reports. Despite their pleas, he still would not tell relatives where he hid his sons. John's not in our mind. It's the boys that are in our mind. And, um, hey, there's always hope. And back out here live, the family's pastor is talking right now. She is leading this vigil, talking about how this is not necessarily a dark time, how these kids can go home. They have lit candles here. They are holding flashlights. They have tied yellow ribbons uh, to their arms in memory and, of course, in hope of the, these kids that they will be brought home safely. So, so many people here not giving up that they can have Tanner, Alexander, and Andrew home for the holidays. Reporting live in Morency, I'm Tom White, Channel 7 Action News. Dave, back to you. Tom,